Welcome to Electron Online. So far, we've determined two different types of equations to describe a line in space. The first one was a vector equation. The second one's what we call the parametric equations. But there's a third type of equation we can use to describe a line in space. It's called the symmetric equation. Again, we have a line in space. We have a known point on the line, which is known as P sub naught, has the known coordinates for x, y, and z. We pick any arbitrary point on the line. We have a vector which points to the known point. We have a vector which points to the unknown point or the arbitrary point. And then we have a vector called the vector v, which runs parallel to the line, which has the coordinates a, b, and c for i, j, and k for the directions in the x, y, and z direction. Now, let's start with the parametric equations. Remember that t was a relationship between the distance between p sub naught and p and the magnitude of v. But if we now take this equation and solve each of these equations for t, let's see what we end up with. First, we move the x sub naught to the left. We get x minus x sub naught is equal to a times t. And if we divide both sides of the equation by a, we get x minus x sub naught divided by a is equal to t. We can do the same over here. We end up with y minus y sub naught divided by b is equal to t. And here we get z minus z sub naught divided by c is equal to t. Now notice we have three equations, all three of them that are equal to t. If that's the case, that means that each of these, each of the left sides must be equal to each other. So we can write x minus x sub naught divided by a equals y minus y sub naught divided by b equals z minus z sub naught divided by c. And this, is, this then becomes the symmetric equation describing a line. I can then put that in the box over here as the third equation. x minus x sub naught divided by a equals y minus y sub naught divided by b equals z minus z sub naught divided by c. Now notice what this is. A, B, and C are the, the A, B, and C are the magnitudes of the i, the j, and the k component of the vector which is parallel to the line. X sub naught, y sub naught, z sub naught are the x, y, and z components of the known point on the line. Now what happens if you know one of these three components? Let's say you know the value for z. If you know the value for z of your second point, your arbitrary point, that allows you then to find the x and y of that point. Or if you know the y of that point, this equation allows you to find x and z. Or if you know the x of that point, this equation allows you to find y and z. We'll show you that in the next video where we're going to do an example of how to employ or use that symmetric equation for a line. And that's how it's done.